Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, redesigning your bath or kitchen area can sometimes be incredibly difficult, so having a professional helps a tremendous amount. Derek from Creative Kitchen and Bath is here to talk about their business and how they can help. Derek, welcome to the show, my Thank friend. Thank you. Good to see you. We love having you in here, where you don't come in very often. We normally come out to you, because you, yeah. you are super busy when it comes to designing kitchens and baths, bathrooms. But I also, just before we get to that, I wanted to say to you, how far in advance do people need to be seriously thinking about renovating, say, a kitchen or, or a bathroom? Well, I think it's the most important space in a house. So yeah. the yeah. more advanced notice we have, the better I think the end result ends up being. Okay, so but like 10 weeks? Should you be planning three months out? Oh, I know, think how three, does that work? Three, sometimes three to six months. It depends on whether it's a renovation or uh, a new construction, mm -hmm. but okay. uh, advanced planning is the key to a successful project. I agree, I agree. Now, Derek, I know this is a big year for you guys. Uh, can we kind of tell our viewers a little bit about how long y'all have been in business and kind of about this year especially? Yeah, this year actually we have been in business uh, 50 years. Uh, five we zero? Five zero. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. 50 years. We were founded in 1968 yeah. and we've been in business for 50 years. So. Okay, and you've been with the company for how long? 24. 24 years. Wow. Yeah. So in that time, I'm going to put you to the test now, how many kitchens do you think you've done? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. I don't know. I, I, it I would can be imagine. It would be yeah. curious to see. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, you should keep a note on I that I need one. to go back and check. What are we looking at nowadays when it comes to kitchens? What's the theme? What's the feel? Timber? Metal? Well, a lot of mixed surfaces. We're doing things are getting lighter and more transitional. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the, the use of a lot of mixed materials. We're doing uh, metals and stainless and reclaimed woods. Uh, golds are making a return. Yeah, so we're love doing that. a lot of golds. Uh, a lot of automation. We're seeing a lot of automation in appliances and right. integrated lighting systems and, and things like that as well. M that's expensive though. It can be. It can be. But, but it does uh, add a huge it, value to yeah. that. It's a game changer. I've got a really yeah. good company that we work with locally and uh, you can do everything from your phone. If you're having a dinner party, you what? can change your moods and oh, the lighting. Really? And yeah, that's yeah. so cool. Well, it's let's really bring up some before and after shots that you've been working on. You just can talk us through these, if you wouldn't mind. Um, are we going to bring them up? There we are. This is obviously a before kitchen. That was a before kitchen. That's a, actually a 1967 uh, home in my neighborhood in the Lansdowne area. It had never been touched. Um, I love the copper. T um, the old copper. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody actually took that. I so. could imagine. Yeah. That is a shot of the dining area in that same space. Okay, good o. And then that is a shot of the breakfast room in okay. the same space. I like your work. So <laughs> 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 now let's look at the whole thing put Wow. That is the after. So wow. we actually we increased the ceiling height in that space. We took the kitchen height to nine feet and we tore down all the walls on the main level there. So we have an open kitchen concept with a dining area and then the great room and there are no walls. Hey Derek, buddy. this looks like a different place completely. I was about to say to you, if you're ripping out wall, si walls and ceiling, you're more like building. You're we're not we're just doing the kitchen. Yeah, we work with a lot of wonderful local contractors Look and subcontractors. Wow. So we kind of sit down with each client and see what their expectations are and then help guide them through the process. How many kids do those people have in that <laughs> Um I think there's two in the home currently. <laughs> really? Yeah. Derek, if somebody is going to be rebuilding, what, how should they prepare for this? Mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally and financially. No, I mean, we really, after 50 years, I mean, we really know how to do this well. Right. So making the phone call, reaching out, and whether we sit down at the house or in our showroom, Again, we can help guide you through the whole process yeah. and mm. make it very, very simple and pain-free. Well, actually. and the best thing is also, everyone, you can head over to um, Creative Kitchen and Bath over on Industry Road. Correct. Off the top of my head. We go there and film every other month. Um, so, and they have the showroom there with all the latest and the greatest yes. gadgets, cabinetry, kitchens, showers. You can see it all there. We appreciate you. There's all the information up on the screen. Give them a call or you can just email Derek, everyone. Thank There's you. There's his email address. Good to see you. Thank you. Likewise.